Now let's add some fields to issue types. Let's start with a bug issue type. We want to add the priority field. So we'll click on it here and drag it over to this context fields area. We'll leave it above the hide fields below line. Fields below the hide fields below line remain hidden in the issue if they don't contain a value. Once they have a value, they'll appear on the issue. You can always show hidden fields by clicking show more on the issue. We'll drag the priority field so it's between status and assignee. Now we'll create a new custom field to track platform. On the right, we'll click checkbox and we'll give the field name platform. We'll enter a description. We'll highlight the first option and replace it with Android. Then we'll add another option for iOS. Let's collapse these details and we'll drag this new platform to be in the hide fields below section. Now let's save our changes and let's test our issue types for a bug. So we'll create a new issue. It's in the Galaxy app project and we'll select the type of bug. We'll add a summary and a description. Let's scroll down and we see the priority field. We can change this if we want. And if we keep scrolling down, we see the platform field. We'll leave both options unchecked and click Create. Now let's open our new issue. We see our priority field. We don't see the platform field because it doesn't have a value yet. If we click the Show One More Field, then we see the platform field. And let's select both Android and iOS. And now we see the field as it now has values.